at the condo, getting faded for the weekend. Rolling big though with my girl in the deep end. In the two though, riding around, yeah, we speeding. Every day the weekend, I ain't never leaving. Now I'm messed up, getting paper with my best friends. I'm a mess up, I'm the best, nothing less than. Shawty, what's up? Come on, ride in the S class. Backwards in my ride, in a bottle in my left hand. Rockstar shit, I feel like guys. Pull up to the telly, smoking gas in the lobby. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. Gang fam squad, what is up? It's your mans. Um, well, 240 body kit has finally arrived. Um, we've already fitted the front, as you guys have seen. Um, side skirt ship out tomorrow. Put the back bumper is here now. UPS just dropped it off, so let's unbox it. Make sure everything is hokey dokey, and then uh, no more clapped out back bumper on the 240. So let's see what she looks like. Bad boy is starting to tape shape, but uh, yeah, that ass. These are molded, so they come from the factory like pretty much as good as an OEM one. We're just letting it heat up, let the polyurethane relax, expand, let it go where it has to. But this is the GP1 rear style bumper I'm gonna be running. I'm sure I have to drill a bunch of shit out for the license plate and everything else, but today's journey is pretty much gonna be figuring out how to take the old one off, putting the new one on. Cause my other one is clapped. I think I'm gonna get some 180 tail lights to complement it as well. We're going super hot boy with this. I almost closed on a set of work VSXXs for the load because I hate buying anything new. Unfortunately, we couldn't really come to an agreement. The specs were a little off from what I wanted. I thought about rebuilding them, but honestly, VSXX is brand new, are only like $700 each. Now mind you, that's still a lot, but compared to like the Volks on my GTR, like that's cheap as hell. Like my Volks go for like $1,200 a piece. So, you know, it's nice from that aspect. So the day's agenda is we're gonna let this stuff heat up. Give Kurt a little ring. Have the back bumpers here, fit that. Um, show you guys an update on the dashboard from last time. If you missed it, it's looking fire. And uh, that's pretty much it. After the side skirts come, we fit that whole kit, and I get the 180 uh, kooky tail lights. We're gonna switch directions, and we're gonna start working on the GTR again. That thing has not been seen on here in quite a long time but we're gonna start piecing things out, seeing what we need, getting the orders ready. Couple months until season starts, but it will get here quick. I hope everybody is already having a good year, 2019. Gang, get in that goddamn bag, bro. Everybody, chase the check, whatever. Everything else does not matter. All right, just got to Kurtz. There is the new GP1 back bumper. This thing should be pretty easy to take apart. We will see. So without further ado, let's get going. All right, well, we got the guts out and 
I would record it, but it fell on me. They pull off. <laughs> so basically what we have to do is we have to take the bracketry out of this, mount it up to the new one, and this thing should be hokey dokey. So I guess let's just assemble it from the bumper and then we'll test fit it on the new one. Yeah. Or we could just not run one. Always an option, just leave it like this. <laughs> that shit goes kind of hard. Okay, so what we're doing now is basically is disassembling all the bracket, bracketry, brackets. And we are mocking it up into the new Hot Boy GP1 bumper. So we still have to drill out for a license plate. Um, we got one bracket on, we're gonna mount it to the other one and we're gonna slap it back on the car and see how it looks. So far so good, but still a little more complicated than I originally thought. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drill out the holes for the license plate light. All right, we're gonna do a quick dry test fit before we mount everything up. Because Kurt wants to, not me. Yeah, <laughs> First of all, it's upside down. <laughs> okay, OEM bracket is now mounted to the aftermarket bumper. We're gonna try to fit it again, see if everything lines up. If so, we'll start mounting everything up, but so far, so good. I kind of like it without it, honestly. It looks kind of sick. Like if that, if you just like filled it and then just made it like body color. Right. That'd be tight.
It is 1 a.m. Back bumper is done. That shit took us a good three hours, but um, we took it off and on a bunch of times to make sure the gap in between the bumper and the, what would you even call that? Just the taillights, yeah, like I guess. The, between the bumper and the taillights, we made sure that that was even throughout the whole bumper instead of it sagging like we see on other 240s, not even no names. But we like to be perfect around here. So the back bumper is on. We are just waiting for the side skirts and this kit will be complete. Honestly, it looks super good. Um, the dash held out really well. So next up, we wait for the side skirts and uh, then we're switching back over to the GTR for a little bit. But we are wrapping this video up here. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Kurt, Johnny, thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without both y'all. Yeah. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Although my heart may be weak, it's not alone. It's grown with each new experience, and it's found a home with all the friends I've made. I've become part of their heart just as they've become a part of mine. And if they think of me now and then, if they don't forget me, then our hearts will be one. I don't need a weapon. Yeah. My friends are my power. My power.